Hello everyone, this is Sandhya Kuswaha and I am here to discuss a topic that uh, is intercaste marriage is good or not. So I am in the favor of that intercaste marriage is not good because uh, this become a social situation that is stuck in, in our society and uh, if we talk about marriage, marriage is not about only two people it about the whole family from the bride side and the groom side sometimes it's about a community so different uh, caste have their own cultures and customs to maintaining these all rituals and custom in a proper way is a very dif uh, difficult to someone and uh, if we if we marriage a girl in a inter intercaste with her intercaste boy then she may might be uh, face um, lots of difficulties and uh, they they have to adjust, lots of adjustment to, to settle in their house uh, if we talk about if we take a example that if a girl who is belongs to a brahman family suddenly he get married into a other caste marriage who is uh, uh, non vegetarian and the girl who is Brahman family, they are from since the childhood, she is uh, take, uh, having some fruits, vegetables, key like this. She never eat uh, non-vegetarian things. Suddenly, if they get into non-vegetarian family, how she can tolerate all this? So, intercaste marriage, up to some extent, it is not good. Nowadays, people think that uh, if we get intercaste marriage, uh, their children might be more intelligent and uh, something like they are genius, they are something new, we get something new, our uh, India get changed like this. But uh, if we uh, get uh, to uh, another caste, now people think that it is normal. but. Uh, uh, there is a reason that uh, we call that children not uh, that uh, caste and uh, neither that caste. That is, the children is not belong to Brahman, not belongs to uh, the another caste. They might be get uh, uh, they might be uh, uh, confused that which custom and rituals I followed, and people also think that. If a girl or boy get uh, married with intercaste, they learn some new rituals and customs. Uh, then we uh, then we say that people that uh, they do not uh, take the, their own rituals and custom in proper way. How they can take the another rituals and customs? They are not maintaining their rituals and customs on. So how can they con control or manage these other customs and rituals? And uh, also people think that uh, our ancestors are following some uh, ideas or uh, that gotra and these things. So these are nonsense. People think that these are nonsense, but it's, it is not true. If we are not understanding that things, it does not mean that this is wrong. And uh, why the people think that uh, we are gonna marry with same caste? It is only the medium that we are transgesting our skills to another uh, in same caste. Suppose, uh, take an example of goldsmith and blacksmith. So if a girl belongs to a goldsmith and they are know that how to work uh, with a gold and how to control all the handles and suddenly she got married with a black blacksmith how can she handle the blacksmith what they do they hammer things uh, uh, too hard she, she cannot tolerate all this and uh, she feel alone in entire whole so I think it is not good. Thank you.